Let's get this free lawnmower. It's a little far away, but 40 minutes or so, but it seems worth it. It's a nice mower and I wasn't doing anything. It's tower recycler, self-propelled. It's got the uh, automatic choke actuated by the uh, heat from the muffler. I don't know what, what engine, oh, it's a Kohler. Never worked on one of these. Interesting, I've also never had a front wheel drive push mower. But it looks nice. It looks like it's barely been used. So hopefully it works, everything's there. It's got the uh, handles. All right, hopefully this, you know, this could be a, you know, $150 mower once I get it. So, let's see if it's got oil in it. Doesn't look like there's much in there, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Well, it looks like it has gas in it, and it says it was made in 2016. I'm going to see if the gas still smells good. If it does, then I'm just going to try and start Yeah, that, I mean, that should run it. This might not need much. I, I mean, it might, it'll probably need a carburetor cleaner, but let's see here. So this is kind of simple. It almost sounds like it wants to. I'll do two more, then we'll try some starting fluid. Yeah, let's try a little carb spray. Still fairly clean, looks like it probably hasn't been used very much. The oil is pretty clean as well, it's fairly low. Right here, it says no oil change required, which is a little sales gimmick that some companies would do, because nobody really changes the oil on their mower anyway, but we're gonna change it before I sell it, of course. See, see what it starts. just mean carbs probably a little dirty old fuel in there do this one more time before cleaning out the jet or jet Sometimes it really just takes that old fuel getting sucked out of the bowl there and some fresh fuel coming into it. It's been sitting for a few months. It's usually, you know, you could just drain the bowl or do what I did. Start. All right, that looks, looks like it's on there. Now what I'm gonna do is take a look at the blade and your underside, see how that looks. blade looks good it's actually pretty sharp this will be one that I don't even need to sharpen I'm gonna clear this crap out of here with a screwdriver really I don't think this one was used very much well y'all get the idea 
So you can see what leaving grass in here does, it, it ruins the paint. So like this grass just came off with the paint. So I'm gonna put a thin layer of paint right here and then where it's rusted, there's not really much you can do about that. You know, you could grind the rust away or whatever, but then you risk going through the deck. So I'm just gonna coat this in fluid film and I'm gonna paint uh, where the paint has chipped off. But again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not gonna sell this more for a lot, but I just don't want this to rot in the next few years, you know? This little fluid film will take care of that. That'll really stay on there and then, you know, dirt and grass will attach itself to the fluid film and that'll cause it not to rust. So we'll do the layer of paint and then the fluid film all around. Well, our first little coat of uh, just what I had laid around looks like some kind of high heat primer. I don't even know when I bought this, but... Oh, this is for my buddy's brake calipers, what this is. So, while that's drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the oil. I'm just gonna put some 10W30 I would use in my truck in there. Just a synthetic, you know, from Walmart. It's a little dirty, a little milky. Set that there. What that usually means is that it has been run for a short amount of time quite often condensation has gotten it or it's just been stored in the rain and somehow rain got in the oil it, you know another thing would be take it and smell it and if it smells like gas then your float's sticking or you got a bad needle and seat but in this case it looks like there was just some condensation that got in here, like I said, water. You know, like I said, I probably could have went in there and found all the paint that was ready to chip and really done this properly, but this is a free mower I'm gonna sell for cheap. Like I said, it's not a big deal. Not the space shuttle. Like we're about done draining there. That's what we're gonna be loading it up with. So it's four bucks a quart. I don't know how much this takes. We're gonna put about a half quart in it and then, uh, ooh, spill it everywhere. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, should've got a funnel. You guys get the idea i'm gonna get it full and check it now with this i don't know if you check it by putting the dipstick in and screwing it in or just sitting in on top of it something like this it doesn't really matter i'm just gonna sit the dipstick on top and check it that way because it says no oil change required nobody's ever going to change this oil again so if you just get it a little bit over full it's not going to hurt it when you overfill these a ton like put an extra cord in them that's when they'll start smoking and, and doing all that. But just a little bit extra is not gonna kill it and it'll probably keep the thing alive just a bit longer. Perfect. It's good to go. Now I'm going to drain the gas out of it and put some non-ethanol gas in it so I can store it until spring without worrying about it. I'm going to pop that little thing loose and then disconnect the line up here and try and bring it over here and drain it into a gas can. This is usually I would just let the gas drain under the mower and onto the ground. I know that's wrong, but this mower is so nice that I don't want to ruin the paint on it. This will be a, a big seller, you know. So, try and pop this out of the way. I don't know how that exactly works, but... There we go. All right, so now it looks like I need to get this clip loose in here. Which 
may take a bit of effort. You can see what I'm talking about there. Like if that were on the bottom, it would be nothing to get it off. But since it's up there on the top, it's a bit of a struggle. I'd like to not take this off. So get some different pliers and try and get it out that way. Yeah, so change my mind. I'm just going to dump it out of here. Uh, take the bowl nut loose, strain the rest of it out onto a towel. It's pretty, it's about a half full there. I don't know if you could see that, but when that's dripping, looks like we've got just a bit of water in the gas, if you see right there. Just a little dribble there. So it's good I decided to do this, I guess. Got a nice 10 millimeter there on the bowl drain has a bowl drain, which is cool. 10 on there. Yeah, that wasn't the best looking fuel in there. Probably put some new gas in it, let it run for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll take it over to my grandpa's and store it for the winter. This back in here. Oh, we lost our washer. So like I said, what I'm putting in here is non-ethanol. If you live here in Louisville, Kentucky, you can get it at the MAPCO on Preston, or you can go on puregas.org, pure-gas.org, and find it there. You can also buy canned fuel, but that gets really expensive. So luckily, I have a place that sells it, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes from my house, so I just stock up on it. You know, I'm gonna let this thing run. It'll probably shoot out a bunch of smoke because I turned it up the carburetor facing down but probably just let it run for about 20 minutes like I said and yes the primer is dry already surprisingly Let's see if it starts I said 20 minutes it really only need to run for about five it's perfect so we're not set evenly here i don't think yeah so this needs to be down on the third notch that one's on the third notch so it's where i need to go here all right Perfect. It's level. So I sprayed the bits with fluid film that I felt like needed it. And uh, yeah, so that's done. That's so why I always say if you find a mower on the side of the road, even if you don't really know what you're doing, it's totally worth picking up because they're usually just spray starting fluid, get them to run, or just a little carb work. And this will sell for you know, at least a hundred bucks. I'm going to ask 150 for it. Of course, I'm going to pressure wash it in the spring. I'm ready to sell it. I actually had to bring it back home and take. There's more water in the gas. Surprisingly, I didn't get it all out. So I just drained the bowl, and put a bit more sea foam in the, put a bit of sea foam in with the gas, let it run for about 20 minutes. It didn't die, so. Ready to sit here for the remainder of the winter. All the other mowers in here. Yep. 